According to experts, at one time the French spent about 50% of the project budget on the development of the design of the model, and the remaining money is distributed between fine-tuning the chassis, launching into production and pre-sale marketing. Let's see if this statement is true for the second-generation Renault Megane. The Renault Megane 2 hatchback in 3 and 5-door versions was presented to the public in July 2002, and since 2003 sales of a sedan, station wagon and convertible coupe began. Hatchbacks and coupe cab islets were assembled at the Renault plant in Douai and Dieppe, France, sport tourer station wagons in Palencia, Spain, and sedans in Bursa, Turkey. It just so happened that this type of body is more appreciated by buyers from Central and Eastern Europe, and Western European motorists traditionally prefer two-volume cars. The new model quickly gained popularity, not least due to its expressive design, rich equipment at affordable prices and economical high-powered engines. These are the main components of the success of the budget in question. In the additional options of the Frenchman, you can find such unusual bells and whistles for this class of cars at that time as climate control, rain and light sensors, six airbags, heated front seats, a chip card instead of a key and starting the engine with the start, stop button. The model was delivered to the Ukrainian market practically unchanged, only the clearance was increased to 170 mm as a sign of respect for our roads. An important advantage of the car is a high level of passive safety. The reinforced bodywork features programmable energy absorption and component displacement zones, earning the Megane 5 stars in Euro and cap testing. Unlike most classmates, the base of the hatchback is 61 mm smaller than the station wagon and sedan, which means more legroom for rear passengers in the latter two variants. In addition, a larger rear overhang compared to the hatchback, by 228 mm on the station wagon and 230 mm on the sedan, respectively, made it possible to obtain a solid luggage compartment, 520 liters for the sedan. If you do not take into account the low reliability of some components, the car is great for long trips. A spacious trunk allows you to load a lot of useful things. For reliable control on the track, the electric power steering with a variable characteristic is responsible, which pinches the steering wheel with increasing speed and comfortable seats and excellent sound insulation allow you not to strain on the way. The quality of the paintwork is at a high level, the French have never had any particular problems with it. True, participation in a serious accident will cost a pretty penny, programmable energy absorption zones are very expensive to restore. Poor quality homemade repairs are the main reason for the formation of foci of corrosion. Note that the power structure changes only in large sections, and small attachments are not cheap. Initially. The cars were equipped with three inline four-cylinder gasoline engines, with a volume of 1.4 liters, 98 horsepower, 1.6 liters, 115 horsepower, and 2.0 liters, 136 horsepower. In addition to them, 1.5 and 1.9 liter diesel engines were offered, but they were not officially supplied to Ukraine, so the share of these cars in the secondary market is negligible. In 2004, the line of engines was replenished with two powerful gasoline units 2.0 liters, 163 horsepower, and 2.0 liters turbo, 225 horsepower, but they also did not reach our customers. All engines supplied to the Ukrainian market were equipped with a variable valve timing system, which is what causes the main problems. Already by 20,000 km, the phase variator may fail, which is manifested by the corresponding chirping from under the hood when starting a cold engine. The unit is not repaired, but only changed. In addition, shorted ignition coils often cause problems. The timing belt must be changed every 60,000 km, and only complete with rollers. It is better not to delay the timing of the replacement, a break will lead to an expensive repair of the cylinder head. When using low-quality gasoline, spark plugs quickly fail. With the base 1.4-liter engine, only a 5-speed mechanics is aggregated. With a 1.6-liter engine, the choice expands to a 4-speed automatic. Paired with a 2-liter unit, a 6-speed manual gearbox or automatic transmission of the aforementioned type was offered. There are no complaints about the reliability of the boxes, except that the machine is a little thoughtful when switching, and frequent abrupt starts can quickly disable the friction disc package. In both types of transmissions, it is necessary to change the oil every 90,000 km. The suspension design can be called classic for a car with French roots, front, independent, on McPherson struts, with anti-oil bar, rear semi-independent with a torsion beam. The car has an enviable smoothness and good stability at speed, however, the price of these benefits is quite high. Already by 25,000 km, it may be necessary to replace the front shock absorber supports and the stabilizer strut. 
When choosing a car with decent mileage, it is necessary to carefully examine the silent blocks of the front levers and rear beam, as well as ball bearings. On this model, the updated ball joint usually does not go for a long time, so when it is worn out, it is better to change the lever assembly. But with the rear beam there is no choice, silent blocks are pressed in only at the factory. Due to not very high reliability and weak liquidity, the car quickly lost its price in the secondary market. All engines supplied to our market were equipped with a problematic variable valve timing system. Already by 20,000 km, the phase variator may fail, which is manifested by the corresponding chirping from under the hood when starting a cold engine. Ignition coils burn out quite often. The timing belt must be changed every 60,000 km, and only complete with rollers. When using low-quality gasoline, spark plugs quickly fail. There are no complaints about the reliability of the boxes. Frequent sharp starts on machines with a gun can quickly damage the friction discs. In both types of transmissions, it is necessary to change the oil every 90,000 km. The resource of many suspension units is low. Already by 25,000 km, it may be necessary to replace the front shock absorber supports and the stabilizer strut. With a run of about 80,000 km, it is the turn of silent blocks of the front levers and the rear beam, as well as ball bearings. In the case of the rear beam, there is no choice, silent blocks are pressed in only at the factory, you will have to buy a new beam. The quality of the paintwork is at a high level. Poor body repair is the main cause of corrosion. 